Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. We discuss six questions in nine minutes because leaders know how to be concise. We'll jump right to it with our guest today. First question in a few sentences. Tell us who you are and what you do. Thank you so much, Sean. So my name is Carrie Rao, and I am a leadership consultant for a variety of industries. Um, in the tech spec sector, I'm in the higher ed sector, and then I've been working with uh, leaders in um, healthcare as well. Fantastic. Question number two, what's the best thing about working with a team? Oh, the best thing about working with a team is sharing the successes and the joys, as well as the, I mean, the, the, the joys of overcoming challenges together. Mm -hmm. um, they've said, people have said that if you wanna go far, um, go with a team. If you wanna go fast, you go by, my, by yourself. It's so much more fun going with a team. I really like that, the, the share the joys of having overcome some challenges along the way, because they're always ours. So that's a great comment. Question number three, I hear from leaders of teams that it can be a challenge to get team members engaged. Tell us your thoughts. Yeah, I think that, you know, everyone is out there fighting, fighting their own battles. And I've, I've noticed that often when team members are disengaged or there's a challenge for engagement or motivation, it's often because there's something going on in their personal lives or that the nature of the work is not um, engaging to them in their, their ways that they're specifically gifted. And so I, I often look at when, when there's not engagement or when there's when, um, a, a challenge with a, with a team member, I often approach it um, like a puzzle, trying to figure out, okay, how could this person, how could I lift this person up to be able to use their superpowers more effectively? And, and how can I be someone who comes from a listening place to understand what's going on in their lives? That's some great advice, especially I like that part about making sure you listen really carefully. It's such a critical element as a leader to really learn how to listen and listen beyond what is just being said. So great comments. Question number four, what other piece of advice would you offer to leaders of teams? Ooh, you know, it's a similar, I guess it, it kind of dovetails with what I just shared, but I would say uh, that being a leader is not about having all of the answers, but about leading authentically, leading from a place of, of listening. I very much appreciate the work of Brene Brown um, in her dare to lead and about coming from uh, a place of open heartedness and wholeheartedness. Um, so trying to understand the members on my team um, and how I can, how I can serve them more effectively. Um, when we show up as humans and not just uh, as producers or trying to um, bring outcomes or results, um, I find that, that that lends itself well to not only effectively working teams, but um, outcomes and, and results because people are motivated to, to be in relationship and do the work together. Great comments. Question number five, what other successful team leaders such as yourself would you like to recognize that have had a positive influence in your life? Absolutely. Um, I think of one of my mentors, Tom Mattson. He is deeply involved in the, um, the Gallup Strengths movement, especially Gallup Strengths for Students, and does a lot around well-being on college campuses and uh, training people to be leaders, not only on campuses, but in their future workforces. So, um, so he has been someone that has really poured into my life. I very much appreciate him and his work. Um, also, Stosh Walsh. Of, organization, or of constant organizational development in Chicago. He works with leaders um, of teams across a variety of sectors as well, also leaning heavily on the Gallup methodologies, which I, uh, I really appreciate. Well, I'm a big fan of the Gallup methodologies as well. We were talking about that before we jumped on the, uh, the recording here, but uh, very much appreciate that. And thank you for recognizing them. And then the final question, tell us about your first job. Ooh, okay. Well, first job was, as an entrepreneur was as a babysitter, um, <laughs> which wrangling little teams of little, <laughs> little, little children to all play together well. <laughs> Maybe that indicated something about what I might do later on in my life. <laughs> but the second thing um, I would say was I, my, I guess my second paid job 
um, where I wasn't um, an entrepreneur was as a line cook and chef at a, an Italian sub shop in my small central Illinois hometown. So making, you know, the, the spaghetti and meatballs and the submarine sandwiches and all of that. You learn a lot about working as a team in a sub shop. Absolutely. That's a great story. Thank you for sharing that. And Carrie, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. How can people find you? Yes. So if you want to connect with me, the best way would be to connect with me via my soar.com um, platform I or, or um, profile at soar.com slash Carrie Rao. And you can find me there um, and you can schedule times to, to for individual coaching sessions or if you um, have an interest in connecting um, around consulting and teams, you can also contact me there as well. Great. Thank you. This is Sean Richards with the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. For more ideas, you can find us on LinkedIn by searching Blue Sky Business Consulting. Thanks for joining us today and have a great day. Thank you so much. Take care.